What's good, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for stopping by today. Today's video, uh, I'm actually going to do a rack of ribs, but it really isn't about the ribs. It's about the rub. Brother Rich, over from Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia, say that five times fast, <laughs> sent me over some of his uh, Sweet River Dirt Rub here. Oh, yeah, and this, um, let's just say when you, uh, when you cook often, accidents happen. Slice my dang finger. Anyway, back to the rub. Rich uh, made up this rub, sent me some, and I've been meaning to try it out. Haven't been able to get around to it until now. Tasted out of the bottle. I like the sweetness that it has to it. So I'm really interested in seeing how it works. He did a video trying it. It made his ribs look really, really nice. And he said it tastes great. I believe him. So we're gonna give it a shot. I got a rack of uh, spare ribs that I uh, trimmed up just a little bit. Of course, remove the membrane from the back. And um, we're gonna get those seasoned up. We're gonna cook these on my Weber kettle using the Weber uh, charcoal baskets. I'll show you how I have that set up. And we're gonna just let these uh, go until they're done. So let's get these ribs rubbed down, or this rack of rib, these ribs, it's just one rack, rubbed down and uh, I got the fire going. Like I said, we'll get them on the Weber. Anyway, let's get to rubbing. All right, so I got the ribs here, and uh, you know, let's just move to the side here. We're just gonna take his rub, get it right on these ribs. The first thing I notice about this rub is that it's the color is uh, it, it it's really light. And um, speaking with Rich, when he did his test, I think he mentioned something uh, along those same lines where he was kind of worried that it wouldn't have a you know nice color to them once they were done. But as he let that rub sit in, you know the the color really started to form. So um, <clears throat> I'm assuming the same thing's going to happen here. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give these a really good coating. I am not going to sauce these at all. We're going to run them dry. I will spritz throughout the cook with apple juice, but other than that, that's going to be the only thing I do to these ribs. So that's that. We're going to let them, um, man, it looks all spotty, but I assure you there's enough rub all over those things. Anyway, we're going to let the set, um, the ribs set, let that rub set in and uh, get them on the Weber once that's happened. So I'll pick back up once it's time to take them outside. Right, so this is how I have my Weber set up. I've got my charcoal baskets on each side with some unlit charcoal. I've got some here that I'm lighting up and I'll put half in this basket, half in this basket. And then uh, I've got a couple of uh, hickory wood chunks here. I'll add one chunk to each basket. We'll put the ribs right in the middle and just let it run. I'm not really trying to cook at a certain temperature like 225, 250. Um, I'm actually going to try to get these done as quick as possible. So it's probably going to be around 275 is my guess is where the, the temperature is going to be. I'm not going to monitor it, but I'm guessing it's going to sit at 225 on how I set up my vents. So I'll have my bottom vents halfway open, my top vent halfway open. And that should give me between 250 and 275. So once these are ready to go, and they're almost there, we'll dump them in, get the ribs on, get this cook underway. All right, these ribs have been sitting for a while. As you can see, that rub has really set in and it's actually given it a nice color. And this is kind of what uh, I was expecting um, after watching Rich's video. You know, when I applied that rub, it was really light, but as you can see, it's actually giving it a really nice color. So let's bring you around here. That's what they look like. So these are ready to go. We're going to get them on the Weber and uh, let's see how they turn out. All right, the ribs are on. We got the wood in. These ribs look nice. Look at that. So I got the vents halfway. Uh, shut down we're, we're gonna get the lid on uh, those vents will be halfway open and uh, we'll get this cook underway so throughout the cook uh, start about the 30 minute mark I'm gonna start spritzing and uh, you know I'll probably pick back up here in about an hour or so and 
show you guys what they look like. All right, you guys, we are uh, probably about, a, about an hour and 15 minutes in to this cook. And what I've done is I took these ribs and I rotate them because this side seems to be burning a lot hotter than this side. So I want to make sure that I got even cooking, but I did just spritz them. So as you can see, we got some good color here still. We're starting to get some pullback already. So like I said, we're about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes in, and this is what they're looking like. So I just, again, I just rotated them 180 degrees and spritzed them. I've actually spritzed them about three times already. And I'll continue to do that about every 15 to 20 minutes. But this is what they look like so far. And I'm not quite sure why this side is running a lot hotter than this side. But it is what it is. So this is what they're looking like. And I'll pick back up once they're done. All right, you guys. These ribs have been going for about two, and a, uh, about two hours. So I've got some nice color on them. I'm getting some pull back on these bones here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wrap them in foil so they don't get too dark and uh, I'm gonna spritz them just a little bit with some apple juice and that's just to add a little bit of moisture into the foil, uh, foil as I wrap them but I'm not gonna add any sauce or anything so that's that. I'm going to get them wrapped up and back on the pit and I'm going to go and let them go for probably about another 45 minutes to an hour and they should be done. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap them because we're starting to get some, you know, it's kind of getting a little dark here. And so I don't want them to get too dark. I, I'm happy with the color and now I want to work on the tenderness. So that's where we're at now. Again, just a little bit of apple juice and that's it. And I'll get them back on the pit let them finish up all right we're going to take a look at these ribs Ooh, hot and see if they're ready or not let me move this lid over real quick but take a look Ooh, this is hot 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 This is what they look like. Whoa. Whew. Yeah, I think these uh, these might be done. So I'm going to pull them off. We're going to take them inside. When I pull this back end off, as you can see, look at that. That tells me that they're tender. So we're going to pull these off, take them inside, let them rest for a bit, and then we'll cut into them. All right, these ribs are done. They've been resting for a little while. This is what they look like. Um, you know what? I'm going to get them. Let's turn it this way. Now I'm going to flip them over. And cut. The back of them. We're seeing some uh, incineration from this meat or the skin back here, which is what we're looking for. You know what? Let's let's take one. Of, I don't want to cut the whole rack up just yet. So we're going to take these ribs, turn them over. That heavy panting you're hearing? Yeah, that's the dog. So this is what we're looking like. Let's take a rib here. As you can see, we've got a nice little smoke ring here. Uh, I don't know. They seem to have, okay, there you go. They seem to have some juice in them still, or some moisture. 
they feel really, really tender. So I think we're going to get a good bite out of this. Again, a nice little smoke ring there. So let's give this one a taste. All right, you guys, this is the rib that we're going to taste. Again, this is the rub from uh, Brother Rich over at uh, Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia, that he created. The color, just a quick little recap. The color on these ribs, when I uh, first put the rub on them, was really light. And, and I was kind of a little worried about how they would look. But as I rub set in, it really gave it a nice color. As they cooked, as you can see, I hope you can make this out. It really gave it a nice, nice color. So I'm happy with that. So only thing left to do is give it a bite and give it a taste and see how this rub turned out. So, man. <laughs> Here we go. Salud. Nice clean bite. Wow. That rub. <laughs> the rub is actually really, really good. Good job, Brother Rich. Look at that. Nice clean bite right off the bone but the rest of it didn't pull off. Mm. Another clean bite, look at that. Again, only part that came off is what I what I bit, bitten. Perfect. I gotta tell you, <laughs> this thing is finger looking good. Sorry, you guys, but Mm. <clears throat> seriously the rub is good it, it really is good brother rich that's a good rub i'm not just saying that because you're my brother and you know a good buddy of mine but that really is a good rub there's a, a sweetness to it is it, it isn't spicy it isn't salty but it has a nice sweetness to it that i really really dig so it's good good rub brother thank you for sending me some and I would definitely be using this again. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <clears throat> if you did, hit that like button, subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to share this video. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care.